Hey everyone, this is Derek J of Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree, which you can watch at victimlesscrimespree.com. And what I'm doing today is inviting the Keene Police Department to attend my movie premiere, which is going to be at Keene Cinemas September 15th at 9.45 a.m. I would love to see some of these movie stars attend the event because they are, after all, a big part of the picture. And so what I've done is made some really adorable um, handwritten cards inviting them to come see the movie, or if they can't make it, I've got the website on the bottom for them to enjoy. And I've even got, uh, I've got about 16 invitations. Some of them are extra special. This one's for Michael Kopcha, the man who pepper sprayed me. This one's for Leslie Collier, the wonderful young lady who arrested me for having marijuana. Here's Jason Short. He was the arresting officer uh, responsible for calling for the arrest of me during Give Peace a Chance. And finally, the ever so famous Fenton P. Moore Jr. I hope that they enjoy their extra special touch of having a little clip, a little barrette of a little shiny bow. And I hope that they are able to attend most of all. So let's go inside and give them these invitations. Hey Derek, hold on just a second so I can fold these up. You don't have to fold them up. Just leave them. It helps to steady it. Hello. Hi there. Hello, I'm Audio. Hi, Hi yeah, I have my friend Audio and Video Recording, just so you know. And uh, I'm looking to speak with Michael Kopcha. Is he in this morning? He is not in. Okay, is Finn P. Moore Jr. in? I could check and see if he's available. What's your name? That'd be wonderful. My name is Derek J. Alright, if you want to see it, I'll let you know. Thank you so much. Alright, great. So it looks like uh, Finton P. Moore Jr. may be here to accept his lovely invitation to the premiere. And I uh, hope that we're able to speak with him soon. I was directed to just wait a few minutes, and it uh, looks like that's all it'll take. So we'll be here until then. Stay tuned. I think it's really important to give a personal touch to this sort of invitation. I want to make sure that the Keene police know that they are extremely welcome. If, if you wanted to speak, he'll be on in just a minute. Great, thank you very much. Wonderful. It looks like he'll be here to receive his invitation, so Good. I'm delighted. Do you know, is, is Jason Short in also today? He is not working today. Okay. Do you know if uh, Miss Leslie Collier is working? She, they, those folks work during the night. All right. Actually, Jason is days, but he's not here today. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Was Collier the one that showed up to live for your dance this past Sunday? Uh, yes, yes, she was. Along with Killer. Yeah. Make sure to let them know that you're out of your video recording. I don't think it's necessary because we're in a public place, but right. it's nice to uh, have that additional oversight. Good morning, Finton. I wanted to invite you to my movie premiere, of which you're the star. I'm honored, thank you. Yes, I wanted to make sure you had a personal invitation. Okay. It's Saturday at 9.45 a.m. Mm -hmm. Tickets are free, so you, know, you can bring the whole family. I hope that you enjoy. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good have luck. a great day. You too. Only 15 more to go. <laughs> yes. Hi. 
Yes, is uh, James Cimarellis in? You have to check out records. He's with the prosecutor. Records? Okay, I'll, I'll put that one aside. I have just a few invitations I want to make sure that I get uh, directly to the individuals who I are invited. I can put them in the mailboxes if you want to leave them. Oh, it would be great. I just want to give it a personal touch if I oh, can. Okay. Is Eli Rivera in? He is not. No? Okay. Jason Thompson? Nope. No? Okay. Brian Costa? He is in a meeting. All right. Well, I'll put that aside for him. How about Mr. Simons? He is not. No, okay. Stephen Tenney? No. Oh, right. oh man. <laughs> I'm striking out here today. Uh, Jennifer Ramey, is she in? She is working, but she's out of the building. Out of the building, okay. Uh, and Mr. Pelliquin? He is on patrol. On patrol, okay. Stephen Corrigan? Not working. Joshua English? Not working. <laughs> Mr. Miola? You'd have to check with records. Okay, that's records. And Michael Ka oh, I already asked if Michael Kafka, Leslie Collier, uh, Jason Short, oh, and Christopher McLaughlin, but he's also records. Right? Yeah. All right, thank you They're so much. Pardon? Not for us. You know, I wish I had a personal invitation for you, but I, I feel didn't... kind of like left out. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me tell you. Give that her you a verbal invite. Of, uh, yes, this is your formal. You too, uh, Kenneth, right? It's it's is it Ken? Yes. Um, I want to make sure that you both know that you are invited to Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. It's my first feature-length film documentary, and it'll be premiering at the Keen Cinemas Saturday, September 15th, this Saturday, at 9.45 a.m. So I hope that you're able to attend. Tickets are free, so bring the whole family. Well, free is good, but I'll be working. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, That's right. Good luck with it. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day. Thank you for your help today. Lunch at Ashwalet following the movie. <laughs> All right, thank, thank you. you. Hello. Let them know that you're on your video. Yeah. Hi there. Um, I Just so you know, we're audio recording. Yep, and I have some questions. I wanted to drop off some personal invitations for Mr. McLaughlin, Mr. Miola, and Mr. Cimarellis. Are they in? Which McLaughlin? Oh, uh, Christopher. Okay, is he in? No, he's not. Oh, okay. And uh, is Mr. Miola in? No, he's not. Okay. And Mr. Cimarellis? They're, they're in court. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I wanted to give it to them personally, but I appreciate you... Well, you, you want no, I appreciate you uh, being able to deliver them to them. Thank you so much for your help today. And I want to make sure that you know that you're also invited. It's an invitation to a, the, my first feature-length film uh, premiere, which features uh, them, those individuals, and also the other Keen police. And it's Saturday, September 15th at 9.45 a.m. And tickets are free, so invite the whole family. It? It's at the Keen Cinemas. I hope you, you can come. Thank you, Garrett. Thank you. And if I have um, things for the mailboxes... I'm of, sorry, I can't oh, <laughs> If I have invitations for others' mailboxes, would they be in communications, or uh, would they be in records? Okay, thank you very much. Take the mail, and we disperse the office's mail for you if you want. Oh, that's okay. I'll, I'll give it to the, the missing communications. She said she would drop them in the mailbox. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Hi, hi again. I was wondering if I could drop off the remainder of these yeah, to be put in the, the mailboxes. Mailbox. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. You also. Well, that went well. Oh, you know what? We have to ask about my concealed carry license yes. while we're here. Might as well. Hi, excuse me. I have one more question. Sorry about that. Uh, hi, one more question. A few weeks ago, I applied for a concealed carry license. I haven't heard back on that, and I know that I missed um, a letter, part of my mail, so I'm wondering if maybe it came back or... Great, let me check the file. Thank you. Great. So hopefully it's here. I don't know what they would do with it if they sent me a certified letter that I had to sign for and I wasn't around to sign for it, and then I guess it gets bounced back to the sender. I'm not quite sure if I have to come here or the post office, but we'll find out. My experience is the post office is very good at losing certified letters. Well, I hope that's not the case today. Um, I am looking for a definitive answer in response to my concealed carry application. So, 
I wasn't able to get it in the mail. Hopefully I can get it verbally. Investigations. Well, I, you can't access it. I can call over them. Oh, okay, great. Thank you. Great. So I don't know what that really means, but I guess there's another department that I can't access uh, through this room. So uh, looks like they're being called out to answer this question for me, which is hopefully very helpful. So I guess while we're here, I'll show the uh, folks at home what, what it is that I filled out here. This is an application for a concealed carry license. And it's a shall issue state here in New Hampshire, which means pretty much so long as you're not a felon and you don't have any bail conditions over your head, you should be approved. Now what I find surprising is that I was informed I was denied my concealed carry license, and so I'm hoping that I'm able to get that cleared up today. These are the uh, Sarah, statues. Detective Goodchild is not at his desk. Um, I wrote the department phone number on the back of the card. Okay, great. Thank you so much for your help today. And so um, what time would be a good time, do you think, to call him? Okay, and I guess I could just leave him a message then. All right, thank you so much for your help. Have a great day. So, of course, I didn't discover much at all. Um, it's been over a month since I applied for this concealed carry application, and I'm really getting um, frustrated with how I'm not getting any answers regarding it. This is a shall issue state, which means that I should be receiving my license for concealed carry. Um, weapon uh, within just 14 days of applying and that's the law as I know it and so I don't see any reason why the Keene police are keeping me from legally uh, carrying a firearm concealed. I can't imagine one reason I'm not a, a criminal who has any uh, violent crimes. No self-defense for you. No self-defense for me. Well, it's been fun, guys. Thanks for tuning in. This was the event and I'm off to community service. Check me out later tonight on the School Sucks podcast, and also my website, livefreeordance.com. Peace.